and welcome to take two of Grapes and Lads. It's back! <laughs> no, no, it's not back. It was horrible. So this week, Craft Beer 101 or Wine 101. Wine 101? It's Wine 101! Craft Beer 101. Let's talk about Drink wine. wine. <laughs> Cheers. For an open window on the Craft Beer world, Max and Chris from Ups and Ups and Welcome to Ups and Rows! Yeah. And don't joke, this wine is really good. Almost too good. It goes down very, very well. <clears throat> really Chris, easily. which glass is yours? Like, uh, how many glasses? I, this this one is by Fort, <laughs> Fort, Fort Glass. But it, yeah, let's start that with this. So today, we have Patrick from Damonville. Uh, so a wine blogger out there from Montreal, uh, supporting the whole wine industry. So but first thing, pause the video right now. Actually, well, as soon as I'm done. Anyways, uh, yes. go <laughs> check out his page on Facebook, subscribe, and, and then unpause. If it, it will pause now and then, then unpause and then come back, but I hope you didn't pause while I was telling you to unpause it eventually. Exactly, because you can all read his articles uh, on Instagram. He has pretty nice pictures of the wine he's drinking. <laughs> This the guy Twitter? opens up oh, a Twitter, bottle. Okay. Oh, Twitter at the Where same else time too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere? It's everywhere. I'm on so he's, everywhere. <laughs> he's underneath your bed right now. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have some wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Patrick got in touch with us uh, a while ago, talking about beers, mostly grisettes and saison, because... It's your favorite stuff. It is. Yeah. It is his grisettes, favorite stuff. saisons, farmhouse. Funky Some, stuff, something funky, something dry with acidity, something refreshing. So no heaviness, no weird stuff. So okay. So no, beers. no big stouts, no IPAs, no, no. no milkshake IPAs. No, I okay. stick to the fruity stuff like you. and <laughs> the dry stuff. I already like you. Thank Sorry. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the saisons. I can't complain. I can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I won't get out of this one alive, I'm pretty sure. It's so, just wine. I know, it's I know. It's good wine. for you. I, know, I feel already Drink good. I feel already Chris. good. <laughs> Drink the Kool-Aid. It feels like Kool-Aid. Eat the pudding. Eat the pudding. No, okay, perfect. So, um, today... So, so, yeah, you don't go actually. Yeah. I don't want to... We want to talk to you guys about wine, but mostly... How does it work? Because we don't know shit about that. And Patrick is here as an expert to tell us more about especially this one, this Cause, wine. Because I mean, wine is actually very uh, close to beer and it, it should be uh, very well regarded. If you're a beer taster, taste some wine as well because you're going to have some flavors that are going to cross by or maybe some ingredients from wine are going to be used in beer and it's interesting to know Ooh. which ones and how they're going to affect one or the other. So where can we start off with this one? So this one is, on, is from Farnham, so uh, local wine yep. from the Quebec region. And mm -hmm. what? And you speak with high regards of this one. Why especially? Well, to me, it's one of the three best wineries in Quebec. They do uh, quality wines. They put great attention into making them. That being said, they're not putting more uh, chemicals. It's pure fruit juice that was fermented, put in barrels and then just bottled and it tastes like it's mostly natural and it's just juice and it drinks like juice. It really does. It, it goes down very well, almost too well. <laughs> well you still get the, the funkiness that you can exactly. get in some beers, you get the fruit and very cherry-like fruit and it's just, just the Perfect wine, actually. Yeah. Ten percent of alcohol, so it's not heavy. It doesn't feel sweet. Uh, well, it's the fruit is can yeah, feel yeah. sweet, but you, you, get you a don't lot feel of fruitiness. cheap sugarness in the wine. So exactly, it drinks well because it's well made. It's surprisingly a really easy drinking wine. And usually, when I'm drinking wine, it's always paired with food. So <clears throat> always because it, it just goes down a little bit more easier. Uh, sometimes you get a lot of astringency from wine. Like it's just hard on your so lungs. You need food to cut down the f uh, the wine because the wine will just rip your face off. Yeah, it's exactly. Not good enough for. And you do get a lot of like dryness coming in the back and just drying out your tongue, but not the same way as an IPA does. Because an IPA, you get lower alcohol, so you'll drink a little bit more of it to kind of like balance it out, and it's 
the gold beyond an IPA, but with wine, usually I get kind of like thrown off by those like heavy dry wines uh, because it just feels like they all taste the same. Yeah, and then the right fruity wine comes <clears throat> in front of you and then you can enjoy life. So this one has which kind of grapes in it? There is Pinot Noir, okay. which is a well-known uh, grape variety. And there's also Zweigelt that comes from East... Zweigelt! Zweigelt. Zweigelt. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds, sounds like from, a really uh, angry grape. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like a metal band. Yeah. <laughs> Zweigelt. There might be some. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be... Purchase you, you, the you. album right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, Zweigelt. It's Zweigelt. Cool climate uh, <laughs> grape, uh, grapes that, done, that can mm -hmm. uh, grow in places like Quebec or Ontario or... Okay. Uh, North America German. generally. Well, not yeah. North America, but... Canada. So, <laughs> Canada. Canada is a great place for cool climate wines. Okay. And this is what we have. So, so and um, the impact the beer has, like the microbreweries, the smaller breweries, uh, the craft beer in general, has on the local wineries. Like, how does it look like? Because I saw a lot of like big wineries just keep keep on growing, but I guess there's like a like a craft winery industry out there that we can't really see because we don't look out for it because we look out mostly for beers. Yeah, and... We've got beer goggles on. <laughs> oh. oh. Let's, let me bring the <laughs> wine goggles in. So let's put on the beer... The, oh shit, do we have glasses? No. No. Ah. Oh yeah, we have wine glasses goggles. here. So let's put the wine goggles. <laughs> So yeah, so what, what's the impact on that? You, we were speaking about barrels uh, earlier, um, I, I think after my first class, now we're, that we're at four. Um, we were talking about barrels, yep. how like after a winery uses a barrel, they can actually sell it to breweries yep. that, and also fruits from the wineries okay. that can be used and um, soaked in beers. And That's the one that for me uh, was the biggest surprise. Wine barrels, I've heard for a while, and yeah. they do add a lot of great things to different kinds of beers, but I, yeah. I didn't really think that you could use the same fruits uh, exactly, yeah. in the beer, but not only the same type of fruit, but the actual same fruit used in this wine made it to a beer. Yeah. Exactly. They, Which is, by the way, Thursday's episode, so just like bookmark it. Anyway. Listen! <laughs> the next episode, because the beer... <coughs> That's mainly why we're here, because we're here to introduce you guys to the wine first, so we can actually say something interesting in the review at the same time. Just look a little bit more complete at the same moment. So this is going to be a week of wine episodes, kind of. Oh, it's going to be fancy. Episodes. Fancy, yeah, super fancy. That's why we're bringing back the Grapes and Lads stuff and techno and all that shit. Grapes and Lads. Please not that girl. <laughs> Kudos if you remember Grapes and Lads. Yeah, yeah. Even me, I had to go, oh hell, we did this. We yeah, did yeah. wine before. Yeah, if you remember Grapes and Lads. There's reasons why we forget something. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, we definitely want to forget it. I don't have a beard. Max yeah, has yeah. barely a mustache. And it was, I, I was wearing your shirt, so it was too small. Yeah. It was extremely tight. So, uh, you know what? You no, might no. want to go see it. Really? Just, just Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah, a really yeah, tight shirt. Watch it. It's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a sexy shirt. Uh, goes well on me. Not sure about that. If you say so. It's my, my <laughs> desktop background. <laughs> and oh, what about the wine? The Is wine? it good? Oh. Like, this wine's pretty yeah. good. The wine we had so, last time, not so much. Yeah, but this wine <laughs> is really nice. I'm quite impressed about it, and I'm looking forward for more wines, uh, actually, because uh, you, you spoke to us about wild wines which are literally the wild side funky of wine stuff. the funky stuff the natural wine that is a movement but also refers to the way wine was made before without mm -hmm. any chemicals adding added to the wine and manipulating like it's a recipe okay wine shouldn't be a recipe it should and be this one was fermented produced juice. a bit more naturally compared to yep. other wineries too yep. how does the process do we have time for the process behind that well, we've got a couple minutes there we for time, Yeah, yeah. So, producer, do we have more time for that? <laughs> okay, yeah. perfect. We have the word for it. We're good. We're good. Okay, so yes. let's do a quick roundup of how this one was made. Yeah, perfect. So, no chemicals in the vineyard. Perfect. So, you got clean fruits, healthy fruits, healthy vines, Ooh. which is a good thing. Yeah. And then you pick the good grape. Yeah. Ripe enough, so not too ripe, so it so you gets you squish uh, them around, making sure all good. Too sugary. Yeah. And you press it, you let let it ferment, put it in barrels 
for a few months and then you got this magnificent wine and juice. You don't have the same touch as I have. I really don't. No, but no. it's looking good. Like, I, I'm good. I need to, to slow down on wine. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. No, he's got he's got the technique, man. I just I'm I'm, I'm got very impressed. He's yes, got the practice. He's got a magic. Because when, when we pour yeah. beer, it's very um, root. You grab the bottle, you grab the glass, and you just kind of pour it in. Sure, there's a yeah. 45 degree angle, but it, there's no finesse. There's you no finesse. You just want the liquid to get into the glass, the glass. and then you drink it. Dom all by. Oh, oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Dom all by. Dom all by. Shameless plug. So a big, big <laughs> shout out to Patrick from Dom all that brought us this fantastic wine and that want to educate you guys on drink proper wine. So yes, you're drinking beer all day, all week but you have that fancy dinner uh, with family or with girlfriend or boyfriend and you want to bring on a nice fancy bottle then try some local wines and try those uh, those are like it's it's art wine is art as much as beer is art too so it, it can be complicated and it can be simple too as long just as you like enjoy it and <laughs> if you're trying to just enjoy wine then get the fruity stuff it's just going to be good and you'll enjoy it so definitely, and uh, another little uh, little note: if you call yourself a, a beer connoisseur, then get into other alcohols so you yeah. know the, the subtleties exactly. between uh, different flavors. So if a, a beer is uh, brewed or fermented in a wine barrel, you'll know a little bit more about what kind of wine was there. You'll the see the flavors from there, out. the effect. Yep. And not only there, but also uh, scotch and bourbon and whiskeys, because that's also used in the beer world, and you might be able to distinguish a couple. Uh, subtleties in the flavors now thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this little one and that you actually learned something uh, so this means you jump on facebook you like damovai you go follow him on twitter instagram same thing for us at the same time but also you can buy us a beer on patreon for five bucks uh you buy us a beer and actually help support the show and you so link is down there sorry i cut you off no there. it's perfect, perfect. Uh, i need to uh, a little bit <laughs> link is down there uh and also if you want to reach us you can find us on facebook twitter instagram or send us an email at beer at hobsonbros exactly. and uh, we're usually pretty good to answer now yeah. in the comments below let us know which wine is your favorite wine because you oh. probably have one. That's yeah. a good question. Yeah, right? that's a really that's good, good question. question. Put it down there and we will read them all. So cheers, so guys. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Thanks a lot, Patrick, for and coming uh, on the show. And we see you actually the next episode, which will be in two days. I very much enjoy what's dans mon vin. Oh. See, I can do it too. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I catch you. I catch you. It's the case, Mr. Bon. It's the Bon. Là, on va prendre une photo.